Instructions to candidates appearing for Combined Graduate Level Examination CGLE 2016 Attention all candidates! This is an updated video and contains new information related to the Combined Graduate Level Examination 2016 process. Please make sure you go through this video before appearing for the Combined Graduate Level Examination 2016 Important Instructions Before the Exam Day Hello and welcome to this video that provides instructions to the candidates for the forthcoming computer-based examination. I am Vijay and I will be your guide through this video. You are advised to familiarize yourself with the practice test specially prepared for the computer-based examination. It is available on the websites of the Commission and the regional offices. You can download your admission certificate, that is the admit card, from the websites of the respective regional offices as per the schedule already notified on the website of the Commission. The admission certificate contains the following important information. Roll number to be used as login ID, password, ticket number, venue details and examination schedule, exam dates and timings. You must reach the exam venue at the reporting time mentioned in the admission certificate. Please note that you will not be allowed to appear in the exam in case you reach the exam venue after the entry closing time mentioned on your admission certificate. You have to make your own arrangements to reach the exam venue. You are advised to visit the exam venue one day in advance to ensure that you know its exact location so that on the exam day you reach the venue well within time. For any queries, you may contact the concerned regional offices at Instructions for the exam day Instructions before the start of the exam You must, in addition to your admission certificate, bring two copies of your latest passport size colored photo, ID proof in original with a photocopy. It can include either of the following Aadhaar card, driving license, university or college ID, voter ID card, PAN card. The entry of the candidates inside the venue will only be allowed between 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. for the first session, which would commence at 10 a.m. Between 11.45 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. for the second session which would commence at 1.15 p.m. Between 2.45 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. for the third session, which would commence at 4.15 p.m. Note, candidates reaching the venue after entry closing time shall not be allowed to enter the examination venue. Please do not carry any prohibited items such as watches, books, pens, paper chits, magazines, electronic gadgets, mobile phones, Bluetooth devices, pen or buttonhole cameras, scanner, calculator, storage devices, etc. Pen or pencil and paper for rough work would be provided in the examination room. Electronic watch, timer will be available on the computer screen allotted to the candidates. Being prohibited items, 
you will not be allowed to carry these items inside the examination venue. If any such item is found in your possession in the examination lab, your candidature is liable to be cancelled and legal or criminal proceedings could be initiated against you. You would also be liable to be debarred from appearing in future examinations of the Commission for a period of three years. Family, friends, guardians or any associates accompanying the candidate will not be allowed entry inside the venue. The exam process includes the steps as shown. Frisking is a mandatory stage in the examination process. On entry into the exam venue, please move to the frisking zone where you would be frisked to ascertain that you are not carrying any of the prohibited articles. A separate frisking area will be provided for the female candidates. All female candidates will be frisked by female personnel only. After being frisked, you are required to proceed to any of the registration desks for your biometric registration. At the registration desk, share your requisite documents such as admission certificate, ID proof with the operator. Get your biometric data captured as instructed by the operator. Candidates shall not be allowed to leave the examination venue once their biometric registration is completed. The candidates should ensure that they provide clear left thumb impression LTI certification statement in their running handwriting and signature on commission's copy of admission certificate. On successful verification of your documents and completion of your biometric registration, the operator will mention the lab number and the computer number on your admission certificate. The operator will also affix the verified stamp on your admission certificate. Without the verified stamp affixed, you will not be allowed entry inside the exam lab. You can refer to the notice board displayed near the registration desk to check the exact location of the lab allocated to you. In case of any doubts, you may seek the assistance of the personnel deployed at the registration desk. Proceed to the allocated lab and show your admission certificate to the invigilator who would direct you towards your assigned computer seat. Do not change your assigned computer seat. Any such attempt will be considered as a malpractice and may lead to your candidature being cancelled. A recap of important instructions on entering the exam lab. You are required to type your roll number and password indicated in your admission certificate on the computer screen displayed in front of you. Please read the instruction sheet, then click on I have read the instructions and undertake to abide by the same. You will be required to go through a sample test before you access the main exam. You are requested to avoid touching the wires and cables as it could lead to the computer shutting down. In case you face any technical issue, please contact the invigilator immediately to address the issue. Important note. Candidates are assured that in case of any disruption of examination for any reason such as any major or minor technical snag or slow speed of server or breakdown of server etc. they will not under any circumstances lose the examination time 
to which they are entitled. No candidate is allowed to leave the examination lab before the completion of the examination for any reason without permission from the exam functionaries. Once a candidate leaves the lab without the permission of the exam functionaries, he or she shall not be allowed to re-enter the examination lab and shall be debarred from the examination. Please make sure that you sign in the space provided next to your name when the attendance sheet is circulated. All exam labs are under video surveillance and all activities of the candidates will be monitored. You are hence advised to avoid talking to other candidates or indulging in any unfair means as that could lead to your candidature being cancelled and debarment from future exams. The Commission wishes the candidates of CGLE 2016 all the best for the examination.